Okay, so let's start recording and today, apart from the hiccups, we're going to paint out a boom. So let's bring in a boom to a really uh, kind of silly, obvious position. Um, looks pretty good on the meters. And now let's go into Premiere Pro and see how I can do this and make this boom disappear. So this is an example of now the boom has disappeared and what it sounds like. And yet, miraculously, you can't see the boom. Sorry, Western Cider. You know, it's, uh, it's fun making these videos, especially after you've had a drink or two. So, let's get into Premiere Pro. So now we're inside Premiere Pro and I'll show you exactly what I did to uh, totally make this boom disappear like magic. So all we needed was essentially an uninterrupted frame um, of where the boom would be. So you notice that at no point do I try and make the boom cross over with even the hand clap. Um, and so all I need to do is essentially take a picture using this export frame button and then I need to, um, well, firstly, I need to export a picture without the boom in shot. So let's take an earlier point. And then I need to export that because that doesn't have the boom in shot. Um, and so perfectly preserves our background, even in terms of lighting. And it's very important that your subject, um, in this case, me, stays in the exact same position just so it doesn't affect any lighting in the background or any diffusion or anything else. Um, and so you name it whatever you want and then you import it into the project. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter where it gets saved. Um, and essentially then we have this, uh, which is what I use down here, which is a 104T test, which you can see is here. Then all I did is I uh, clicked on that. I went to the effects controls and I made an opacity mask. And so you can see the exact mask that I used. Um, because as soon as I uh, take away the mask, <laughs> I can even give myself a completely different expression. Um, and I can look like a complete psychopath. Um, but the whole point is that you make this mask just for the bit, just covering the boom. And then what you're able to do is uh, just use that because your background is constant and because the shot is uh, a static one. Um, I'm able to have the boom in shot and easily, even after having um, many Western ciders, um, I actually managed to crop out a hell of a lot more Western ciders that were along this. Um, that's a joke. Um, and so the result is... And make this boot disappear. So the key so thing that I needed uh, for this is obviously for my body not to cross this uh, the boom, essentially, because otherwise, obviously, I get a completely different picture from whenever the picture was taken. So I only just do it just to get the boom out, and then I leave it at that. The mask is fine, and so I put it as, as the top video layer. So obviously, the opacity of the original picture is on top of the video that we want, and suddenly we've got the boom out. Um, and then I've also added a title, just proving that anyone can do this, even a sound recordist who is not a master editor in Premiere Pro, um, and has also had a couple of drinks, which I thought everyone would enjoy. I certainly know that I did. Um, and so that is all you need to make a boom disappear within a shot. If you're editing in Adobe, I highly recommend that even if this shot was wider and crazier, if you have a static frame and you want really good sound, you have to trust your boom operator, your sound recordist, that you're not going to have the boom cross anyone that's walking. Um, you're going to be able to take that still frame from the exact edit. You notice that there's no extra editing or anything else. There's just a couple of frames at the start. There's consistent lighting. There's nothing extra you need to do. And you can get it sounding much better because, for instance, we have... So if I just solo uh, the, the sound from the camera... Look, now the boom has disappeared. And what it sounds like. And yet... 
And now if I mute this, well, now the boom has disappeared and what it sounds like. And yet, so even in an interview scenario, you wouldn't need to put a lav on this person. Um, you could just get them to sit down. You could be uh, sitting in the frame and everything would be fine. Um, so I, this has been talked about a lot on sound forums and it's done a lot on House of Cards and it's getting more and more common practice. And I highly recommend um, that rather than putting a 200 pound microphone in terms of a lavalier, um, and that's kind of top end, so maybe 400, um, or the one that comes with a G3 that's 50 or 60 quid. Um, you put a, a microphone that's essentially worth 1600, and you put it in frame, and you get much better sound. So hopefully you can show this video and share it with people to make them more confident um, in having uh, a boom kind of in shots. Again, can't do much about the, sag ba <laughs> the sound bag in this scenario. Um, but obviously that wouldn't be there, that's just me using it. Uh, but it just shows what we can take out with even the most rudimentary um, effects. And we don't need anyone else to do this. Um, your editor is perfectly capable, I am sure. If not, I'm worried, and you can email me at matt at soundrolling.com. So, I've been Matt Price. This is how to paint out a boom, even while drinking cider. Um, Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.